Hey guys, FCA family, game day family, it's Streels here. I'm at my house in Scottsdale, Arizona. I'm in my gym, that's why it looks funny. I'm on my, on my bike, just kind of getting, getting a workout in, but uh, just put the kids down for a little quiet time and, and Courtney's doing some reading and um, just kind of wanted to get away and do a little work, but I want to reach out to you guys and tell you uh, I'm thinking about you. I'm, I'm really bummed we're, we missed San Antonio game day and um, looking forward to hopefully uh, making it work at uh, Colonial. But there's obviously more important things going on in our society right now. And I just want to reach out and tell you what I've been doing and where my heart's been. And, and uh, you know, to just try to use this time to be productive, use this time to become a better man, to become a better follower, to become a better husband, better son, better father. And uh, I think we need to be really intentional this time, intentional with relationships, to maybe reach out to family members you hadn't spoken to in a while, to uh, write down priorities that you want to be better at eight, 12 weeks from now than you are today and make that an intention. I think that's critical. Um, it's not just sitting around and watching TV and just looking at news going crazy, you know? There's plenty of scripture that we can rely on in times like this. If you guys have been to game days, you know, I talk a lot about 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18. And Paul says, rejoice always, pray constantly, and give thanks regardless of your circumstances. Because it's, it's pretty darn easy to give thanks when your circumstances are great, when things are going well. You're winning golf tournaments or your family's healthy and, you know, life's, life's easy. But that's not what the scripture says. It says, give thanks regardless of your circumstances. When things are tough, when people are sick, and when uh, things are on the down. And just right now, our society, and there's some things on the down. But we have to lean on that scripture that says that he's got our back. Because he does. He's way bigger than this. He was the beginning, and he's going to be the end. And the hope in that will give you a freedom that no amount of coronavirus could ever impact. So, so keep your heads up. Find some things you want to get better at. Get into scripture. Get into the word. And um, I'll be back in touch. Love you guys. I miss you. We'll see you down the road.